With the release of version 7.5, we're excited to announce a new tool that's been implemented within Eagle, and it's the ability to import Gerber files. So right now on the screen, we have a blank board, and I want to go ahead and import one of the Gerber files from one of my existing designs. So I go File, Import, Gerber. So now I go to Select. I can browse for the file I wish to import. I'm going to go here to my Eagle folder, select this Wi-Fi radio board cape that I made, Gerber's. Let's just bring in the top copper. CMP, open. So the UOP automatically detects and specifies a recommended layer. It sees the extension on the file and is set up top to be the layer on which the file is going to be imported into. It tries to automatically determine, determine the format of the Gerber file, which we can adjust. If a file is very large, we have this option, Write to SCR. It basically, instead of writing all the commands in place, it will copy them to a file. And for very large Gerber files, this can speed up the processing. So if you try to import a Gerber file and see that it's taken a while, it may be worth your, your time to try setting this option. The file that we're importing is actually relatively small, so we don't have to concern ourselves too much with this, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew. So right now I select Import. If I was being imported, it's going to let, as soon as the import is done, it's going to relaunch the UOP in case I want to import another Gerber file. I'm going to say OK. And the UOP relaunched. In this case, I don't intend to import any other Gerber files. So I'm just going to exit it. And we can see here's all the top copper of the board that I had designed. Now, this is fully editable. I can go with the move command and make other adjustments. I can move traces around. I can add. I can look at the properties of these circles, for example, and change their radius. I can change width styles. Basically, at this point, what I have done is I have imported all of the Gerber and as simple circles, as simple traces, which are all adjustable. Now, why would I want to do this? What's the importance of importing Gerbers? Well, if all you have of a legacy design is Gerbers, then you can still go in and make adjustments. You can make modifications. You can add in copper and then re-export this out. So this is handy. I remember in, we had a situation with one customer where headquarters has sent a Gerber file but it let him know that the Gerber file had an error and on each board he produced he was going to have to make a bodge wire and he was not for that so we went in and we made that bodge wire in the copper itself which is very simple and that saved him a lot of manual labor another use case would be when working with communication boards boards that handle Wi-Fi or Bluetooth in many cases these boards have already passed certification and the PCB antennas are certified so if you're rolling your own design, you may want to reuse that antenna design. So like I mentioned, we're really excited to have this new feature in Eagle version 7.5. And we thank you for your attention and the time you've dedicated to this video. Thank you very much and have a great day.